today I'm going to change my grips. The grips I have on here now are the Pinnacle um, Indian grips. They're really nice. They're actually black and uh, like a polished aluminum with a little bit of a rubber insert. Uh, they're pretty expensive. These are like 200 bucks. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I just want to try something different. Saw these. I think they came out recently. These are the V-Twin Lock-On Grip Set by Vans, an ODI. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more red to my bike because, you know, red makes it go faster, of course. So here's what I'm going to be putting on. If you've seen some of my other videos, you already know I like Vans. I've got a lot of Vans shoes. And I've also got the Scout Bobber 20 that has Vans grips on it. And my son's Royal Enfield, we put Vans on it as well. So we're going to put Vans on this, and then we'll see how that goes, see how I like it. If not, I'm not going to sell these right away. I'm not going to get rid of them. So if I don't like them, I'm out 75 bucks or whatever. I'll just slap these back on, and, and uh, everything will be fine. So what we're going to be needing to do is to take these uh, the housings off here, the switch housings. And that's going to be a Torx uh, T20, I believe, on the back here. So let me get the tools out. Um, I'll take these apart, and then I'll show you how easy it is to swap these grips on. All right, thanks. All right, in this case, I'm going to start with the throttle side. The way my um, levers are, it's actually right in the way of that T20 screw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up the whole bracket that holds the lever and the mirror on and just rotate that a little bit out of my uh, path to get to this screw. And for this, we're going to use a five millimeter. So now we should be able to get to this bolt right here with a T20. All right, so now for the T20, I'll get So here's the screw I took out of it. And we'll set that. All right, I got this other one loose up here. And now we should be able to carefully remove this little clamshell thing the front out of the way. Okay, so once you have the outside housing um, taken off with the two T20 screws that go in here, here, and here. Um, it's going to reveal some more T20 screws. You'll see one here and then one down here. So you want to carefully take those out as well. Okay, so once this splits open, and be very careful not to drop anything, you'll be able to get the throttle tube out because it's tucked inside the housing here. So got the two screws out. Then it just comes open like that. And this is the, the throttle grip. So this is what I'm going to replace it with. Looks very similar. So now all we've got to do is put this back over. This is your um, throttle right here, this little end. And then inside the grip on both of these grips, it fits into this little groove. And that's how they turn. That's how the throttle by wire system works. So I'll just slide this on. And then put the housing back around it. And then now we'll put these two screws back in. And uh, let me get those two screws back in and then I'll get the outside clamshell back on as well. And then we'll take a look at it. 
All right, got this all back together again. And then you can see that the throttle works. Now I'm gonna gently move this back over in place, try to get it as close as possible. And I'll need to sit on the bike at some point and just make sure these are adjusted where I need them. Um, so I get to the controls and also I can see out of my mirrors, but I'm just gonna cinch them down for now so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So that's the finished product on this side. Pretty easy. So now we'll move over to the, the clutch side and we'll do that one. All right, this is gonna be pretty close to being the same deal uh, we do on this side. So I'm gonna first loosen the clutch lever up. And gently slide it out of the way so I can get to the two T20s here and here. All right, second screw out. Let's take apart the little clamshell part out here. Since this is actually on a cable, it's, it's you know, at least on my bike, it probably will on yours, it's trying to move back into place. So it's a little annoying, you gotta hold it out of the way, but not uh, impossible. All right, so we've got two more screws here. They are also T20, so you'll see one here, and then one right there. So I'll take those out and be careful not to drop any pieces or anything on your bike. All right, so we got these two screws out. Now, these are not stock uh, grips that I've got on my bike. So this is how you're gonna take this grip off, but the, um, the stock grips may be a little bit different. So this one, I believe, is also held in underneath this little thing here, and then you gotta just pull it off. Mine's gonna work off fairly easy because I didn't glue mine on. Um, since it was being held on with this with this lip right here um, so I just put it on like that these are actually lock-on grips so there's you'll see two hopefully you can see these two screws here and here so these two screws on either side of this you're gonna tighten those up with a t15 and there's a t15 um, little wrench that comes in the set that you're gonna get. Uh, so you're gonna slide this grip over and then I'm gonna see if I can just tighten that up and it'll tighten the grip on enough. So this doesn't need to go underneath this grip anymore. It just needs to slide on. So this is gonna slide on a little, it's gonna go back on a little different than it came off in my case. All right, so that is on there. What I'm thinking about doing is just making sure I got everything in place before I tighten this down, just to make sure it doesn't move around. So. Let me put these screws back in here, uh, get this locked back down, get the, uh, the cover over it, and I'll join you guys back in a minute. Okay, so we've got the grip on. Um, I have not locked it down yet, so it's still a little loose. But what I wanna do is I wanna get my controls about where I want them. Again, I'm gonna have to get on the bike and adjust these to 
what I'm used to. Next thing we need to do, go over here, um, adjust this grip where we want it. And we want the ODI logo to be, you know, upright facing the end here. And then, which is gonna basically, I believe, put these two screws against the 10 uh, T15 Torx. It's gonna put them at the bottom and then we're just going to tighten these up. And it's tightening this little aluminum collar that is part of the grip. So I'm doing uh, a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other so I don't bind it up and uh, it goes on evenly. Actually, right now, that is, once you tighten it down, it is super tight and it's not moving anywhere. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, these grips work well. You don't need to have any glue on these. You don't need to have any, like the hairspray trick that I usually do. Uh, nothing. It just slides on, lock it on with this, with the T15 on this aluminum piece here. There's also um, a locking mechanism, same way on the other side. Um, so I'll play around with that a little bit, but right now it feels good. It's not coming off because it's actually underneath the, uh, the switch housing on the other side and it controls the throttle. So it does need to move. So don't know what good that's going to do other than, you know, keep it uniform and looking the same, but this is what the bike looks like with the red grips on it. Um, some people probably won't like it. I figure I'd try something different. I've got some red on my bike anyway with my stitching on my seat and some of the wires and everything. Uh, so I'm just trying something different. Again, if I don't like it, go back to the other ones or these come in all sorts of other colors. So check them out on the website. Cause right now I'm just putting them on there cause I like Vans, put them on there cause they're red. I want to try something different. So that's really where we're at. All right, so hopefully you can hear me over some of the wind noise. Um, these are the new grips. These are the Vans grips. I like them a lot, actually. I wasn't sure if I liked the red. I know some people are going to hate it just because it's different. Uh, but I, I'm trying to get something different than just the the standard, you know, flat black bike or whatever, you know. Um, so I'm trying to do something to add a little pop of color here and there. And uh, this is the way I'm going to do it. So. Um, these grips uh, I, I like bands grips anybody that watches my channel knows I've got them on my bobber uh, we put some on my son's uh, Royal Enfield uh, Conti GT and uh, they just feel really good these are a little different in that they're not just rubber slip-ons um, these have a little bit of the well you'll see the, the video that we just did uh, to install them they have uh, they clamp on so it's kind of cool you don't need to add any glue um, which means they're easy to take off or easy to adjust and they feel a little bit stiffer maybe um, but not much they just still they still do have a nice grip to them I think they feel a little skinnier than the ones I had. Uh, and, and actually, I did the install that you guys just watched uh, well, a while ago, probably a month ago. And uh, ridden already with these quite a bit. And they hold up well. I've ridden with gloves, without gloves. And uh, yeah, they feel good either way. They're uh, got a feel good, good grip feel to them and I like them uh, so they come in a lot of different colors maybe I'll add a picture down here um, of all the different color combinations I think they've got like a black and black a bronze some other stuff uh, so yeah 
check them out they're pretty cool uh, thanks for watching the install video probably short and sweet because there wasn't a whole lot to it um, but yeah thanks for watching bye you're still here it's over go home go click on some other videos but Go home.